In previous section, I talked about desktop background. Now I'm going to talk about the color setting in your windows. Now the color setting changes the color in your title panel for your windows and your taskbar. And as you can see, the color is automatically changing. And I want to show you how. If you take a look at the title bar of this window, you can see it is kind of a pale green or khaki or something like this. Now I want to right click on the desktop and go and click on next desktop background because I have selected multiple desktop backgrounds. I can see next desktop background here and if I click on this another photo is going to appear. Now if I take a look at here you can see that it is kind of a light brown. Uh, that's because this is the dominating color of the background. You know when you are setting your color to be automatic it is going to change to the dominating color of your background photo. So let me change it again and now you can see that it is changing. Let me go to another desktop background. Now it's, it, it should be kind of green. You can see that it is kind of green. That's because this is the dominating color of the background that I have selected. So let me click on this color setting and see how it changes. Now this is uh, telling me that you can you know uh, have multiple colors automatically based on the dominating color of your background but if you want to set your title bar and taskbar color to one of these you can just do that for example I, 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 I will always want to have this colors as blue I click on this blue and now you can see that it is always going to be blue no matter what the background is I want it to be, for example, oak. It changes to oak. I want it to be, for example, magenta. It is going to be magenta. So when you select one of these colors, you have some more settings here. For example, color intensity. You can make it 100% magenta, or you can make it a little less. You, this way you are is changing the intensity of your color and if I click on this show color mixer I can see hue saturation and brightness and I can set my own custom color none of these colors are you know in my color I can just go and for example select the hue and go to find the color that matches my preference and I can make it more dense or less okay this is changing the saturation and I can increase or decrease the brightness of this color that I have selected and at last I can go and click on save changes and this is the color that is going to be there permanently now I don't want to have this I want to have automatic color that's because I love it I love to have changing colors in my Windows. So I click on save changes and everything is going to be saved here. What about the sounds? Whenever I click, I open a window, I receive an error message, I can, you know, hear some sounds. And where you are going to change them, that's here. I can click on sound. And this window opens. That is a kind of, you know, an old window that you can remember it from Windows 98 and these are the sounds that you can hear just click on one of them and click on test you can hear the sound and if you do not like this sound you can change it for example let me find the sound that's oh that is played when you see an error message an error dialog box or a sound that opens when you that's it for example this blocked pop-up if a black pop-up appears, you can hear this song. But if you do not like this, you can just go and click on Browse and go and select the song from your Windows folders or another folder that you have selected to have your, for example, music files or things like this. I cancel this out and I'm not a big fan of changing Windows sounds. Actually, I do not do that. But there is something that is very interesting here, Screen Saver. And a Screen Saver is a program that is executed whenever your computer is idle for some time. 
and this sometime you can change the time duration for this uh, you want to click on a screensaver and this window opens and as you can see there is no screensaver set by default I can see some screensavers by clicking on this drop down menu some of them are old you can install your own screensavers that you have downloaded or bought from internet or other you know software repositories uh, but just make sure that you are downloading screensavers from trusted websites I mean like some other programs these contain a lot of viruses so you should make sure that the the screensaver that you are downloading is a screensaver that contains no virus so you should download it from a trusted website now if I want to check these screensavers to select them I can just take a click on this preview button for example I want to go to 3d text I can click on preview and see that this is the screensaver that is going to show so let me go back and click on setting you can see that I have typed my own name here you can type your own name for example your name is John Smith you can type John Smith and click on OK and click on preview you can see that your name is going to you know spin here and show and how long does it take to you know start this screensaver if you do not touch your keyboard your mouse or anything else on your computer it is going to be about one minute or here you can see that I have set it to 10 minutes you can set it to your uh, preference for example I do not touch my computer for five minutes and it is going to start this screen saver I can have different type of screen savers some of them have their settings for example this is blank if I click on setting you can see that this does not have any setting to set I can select for example mystify and I can click on setting again mystify does not have any option but if I click on preview you can see that mystify shows me some kinds of you know a rainbow like lines that come and go that's beautiful that's really beautiful and some other screensavers that are here again I do not like to have any screensaver and I go and click on none one thing that I want to mention here is power setting and you can reach power setting from here or from control panel or from right clicking in your start button by right clicking on your start button a very nice shortcut menu opens and again power options are is here you can click on that and go and check your power options I'm going to talk about power options later in my course so let me cancel this out I don't want to set any screensaver and this is the personalization you need to you know do for your desktop in next section I want to go for start menu and show how you can personalize your start menu so stay with me